Okay, guys, last time y'all saw, it was lunchtime. So, we're going for a lunch break. Sorry for all the noise. I'm trying to get the mic adjusted. I can, it feels awkward right here, right now. But, guys, let's see what we got going on here. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It all makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. This is true. This is really true. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone can have... Can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Uh... Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch. <coughs> mm, sorry, I got a little bit of a... Upper respiratory thing going on. She said, shh! In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food the, this mysterious student has created. You've heard he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. <laughs> its contents glimmer in the light. Piled higher, huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is, stabbing, is scribbling notes as fast as they can, but that's all I'll say about that. What, you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw. Nah, my dude. Nah. I'm just uh, drafting a uh, last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is a uh, poison. Got him. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. Nobody's laughing at your sick burn, Van Man. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that it was the only hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides close, closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. That whole. I was going to say something else, but I caught myself and said whole. Oh, please. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any, I'll take, I'll take his. Whoa, whoa, hold on, I mean... I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure <laughs> exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one piece of one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transport you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Savor the moment and everything that it, it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light, or focus your mind. I want to swim towards the light. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. The flavors are so intense you become wrapped up in them. Unable to resist, you reach toward the light. It grabs your hand and pulls you closer, closer, until your fingertip connects with the end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There is no spicy McNuggets now. McNugs now. There is only herbs and spices. Though Miriam tries to revive you, she cannot. Game over. Aww. We're gonna try that again. <laughs> wow. I chose wrong. I touched the light and died from the flavors. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh, now I gotta wait on the loading screen, which is making me extremely hungry. That looks... I love KFC. Like, I'm not a big, like, wow, the cafeteria is nice. Okay. Let's skip through all of that. Alright. We're gonna skip through all of that. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful. I chose the second option here. Pure. Heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles so ever, ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk with you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. Well, I've already changed his voice like three times since I started this game. What exactly was on your on that chicken? Or what exactly was on that chicken? Haha, <gasps> how bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I have or for a new combination of flavors that will make my, me a fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. I like his cane. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole, two whole more days, two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not giving it up that easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell I use... It's something my great-grandmother taught me. <gasps> wow! I, I like how they censored the ingredient, just so you'll never know. You'd never guess that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. I... I... The... I wish they would have changed the color of the font bubbles for everybody. Neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add thing, add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. Well, I must say, I, well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery, it was perfect. I appreciate that compliment, Spicy McNugs. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking area arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they would they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show off our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans that you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome students to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we will be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over to you. When able to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Hey Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if it was, if that wasn't clear. Want to be my partner? Aww. Sure, Spicy McNugs. I'll prepare your station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello now. Hello, new partner. Beep boop. Hmm. 
Oh my, two potential partners. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Who to choose? It looks like you have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward. That's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be with Mir to be Miriam's partner? Pop or Clank? Pop or Clank? Let's go with Pop. Sorry, Clank, but I think Miriam will be partnering up with Pop today. Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same station as Miriam. I'm a chef. He holds up a banana and without peeling it proudly eats the entire thing. It's disconcerting, but Miriam is too kind to act grossed out. I love your I love your enthusiasm, Pop. She looks at you like, really, this kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick up a basic, pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, to your partner Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. My grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. It's always been something a down. I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we'd make something warm and inviting and comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes and gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders cast a look at casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. That was hard to say. <laughs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business. And you better keep your fingers off my man. Did someone call for me? Ugh, no jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Spicy McNug's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? I like how the music just went to heavy metal. Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy, Ashley and Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no, it looks like Spicy McNugs was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to, con to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, it m I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and drumstick? It, make, it just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. But one thing is clear. She's coming for your colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders. Hunk of hunks in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always has your back. I'm here to learn and express myself via cuisine, not bicker with, prim with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders and Colonel Sanders chose me, isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements, from, my, from contracts to handshakes. I took on Spicy McNugs as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Spicy McNug's natural talent or their loyalty. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that in the, t in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed and boiled the potatoes with perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat. 
out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. I'm starving. I am starving at this point. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes, and the result the results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders holds his pork out to you. You reach out and grab a hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand there holding the same spork, and for that moment, uh, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes look in the look. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together, you dig in, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's plotting against you to be with the colonels, with Colonel Sanders, and then filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sport full of mashed potatoes right in Ashley's beautiful, stupid, beautiful face. Van Van, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something without with so much love and integrity? Hold on, right there, spicy McNugs. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect much better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potato face? Van Van rushes back over and covers and co a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. It's just a few minutes I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my spe spe specialty. Braised tentacles of, tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Plate it on a battle axe. Forged by my supreme chef ancestor. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have the first bite, and you all and you will all look on with envy. The interrupted student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No doubt. Something about this dish doesn't make doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned it into process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. I, uh, I think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It killed him. Everyone, step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it's gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped and up in Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then it's almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are as motionless as statues. Will Pops die? Tune in to the next episode. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of today's video or what you'd like to see us do next. Also check out the works of uh, Tracy over at Magical Nico Notes and Will over at the Keeper Chronicles Tome of Knowledge. As well as Casey over at the Queen of Chibiland. All the links for that is in the description below. Ring the bell icon. So you can stay up to date with what's going to happen next. See if pops, see if pops dies. But uh, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching, and we'll see y'all in the next video.